just another casual day drawing Satan's symbol on your forehead. Hello children, I hope that you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving or if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, a wonderful Thursday. Welcome back to Hizzy Fit, my name is Lauren. Today, in the Black Friday spirit, the men threw punches and tore each other's shirts. Not that kind of spirit. We're gonna be talking about five different Black Friday looks that you may or may not have seen this morning. But before we get started in any of that, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to Hizzy Fit for more glorious content such as this. Well, the rest of them are good. You know, for some people, the journey of Black Friday is impressive. You start off looking something like this, and somehow five hours later end up looking like this. But hey, this look merely means that you probably won. You probably got just what you wanted, but also chances are you probably lost a lot. Like maybe a sleeve, a little bit of your dignity, or maybe even a chunk of hair. But it's alright because the recovery time from all the emotional and physical trauma you just went through is gonna be a lot easier now with that new TV. The next look can be tricky to spot, because overall this person looks like a regular contributing member of society. But for some reason or another on Black Friday, maybe the moon, a change in the air, <laughs> or just sheer human greed, these people turn into a pushy, loud psychopath that will literally step on people. But fortunately for you, there are some subtle signs that should give you a clue to the kind of person this is. Now this next look is not quite as subtle. If you see someone that has a tear-stricken face, maybe a frazzled updo, this was a braid when I started, or a check for minimum wage, chances are you're seeing an employee! They've probably been up and working for ridiculous hours dealing with terrible, terrible groups of people. I have no joke here. Be nice to your retail workers. <laughs> While Black Friday shopping, you're probably gonna see a lot of people without any makeup on, cause why would you do that? But to pick out this kind of person, you just need to look past that lack of makeup to a very subtle and casual accessory. Like an entire quilt, which shows that they really didn't sign up for this. This person is likely your tired but good friend, who's currently being used as a placeholder in line. Oh yeah, I'll save your place in line. Don't save your place in line, right? Yeah. <laughs> ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do, do you mind holding? Hold the yeah, for one second. And also, if the line moves, could you, um, could you just just gently nudge me forward. Or maybe even holding a purse when their friend is fighting over a sweater that they're really never gonna wear. But it's four dollars! <laughs> Lastly, if you don't immediately know who this person is based off of their physical attributes, trust me, you'll hear them. Girl! This is the expert, typically dressed in a tracksuit, map in one hand, four children on separate leashes in the other, their ponytails tight, fanny pack full of coupons heavy, there's vomit on their sweater already waiting, no. They truly are a Black Friday expert and probably have already dug themselves a secret tunnel system under them all. But I usually just try to stay out of their way and not step on any children. <laughs> that's everything for today's video. Let me know if you personally resonate with any of these. I resonate with the friend on a daily basis. I'll nap anywhere. And also make sure that you like this video and subscribe to Hazy Vit, and until next time, ta-ta!